What's up, fam? I'm Jerry Black, CEO, and welcome to Black CEO Media 2.0. This won't be a part one series right here with uh, Mr. Bernard Robinson, uh, which we all know is uh, Shanquilla Robinson's dad. You know, this is one of the early videos that he did with the brother Alton L. Davis. So we want to give credit and shout out to the brother Alton uh, Davis. And uh, this is one of the earlier videos where uh, Shanquilla Robinson fathered was saying, you know, how he felt about the case, the Kabul six, the friends and people not reaching out to him, you know, and it's sad, you know, from then, what was that? We'll say like five months ago to today, which is, what is today? Uh, the day is April. I mean, uh, Monday, May 8th out here in America. And, uh, you know, these last couple of weeks, we've been focusing on the brother Bernard Robinson. Uh, with uh, sending mad love to Quilla, uh, mom and sister and the rest of the family over there to the ladies um, also. But listen, if you're new here, you like what you're hearing about this Quilla situation, you're following a Quilla situation, you want to see justice with this Quilla situation after we've seen that horrible video of that girl getting jumped on, okay, in front of these so-called friends. You know, you're in the right place. Make sure you subscribe, hit like, hit that notification button so when I do go live, drop a video like this, guess what? You'll get the notification and we're going to bring the truth and not the damn juice because the juice is a little too messy. Okay, let's roll. This right here is Mr. Uh, uh, Anton David L. Davis and uh, you might can check him out on YouTube. I'm going to say uh, Patron and uh, other platforms out here. Facebook also. So we want to give credit to him. I want to play some of the interview that he played five months ago. I think a month after what had happened, you know, the video with Quilla and, um, you know, with say fences, the Cabo six, no one calling him. And, you know, they going to the mother house um, basically with them bogus lies. And uh, I want you to just listen to this part of the interview and what I'm doing. I'm kind of precepting, precepting after precepting, showing um you know you got one of the guys online that is deep i wasn't there and all of this why won't this guy reach out to mr robinson back then back then i know these people saw mr robinson's uh safe fences uh interviews and online interviews and sort so and that's the thing so you got hey i guess some people support the Cabo six online and some don't i can't roll that way if you ain't spoke to mr robinson you know what i'm saying i can't roll with you because this is a father still grieving and it's gonna be grieving a while over his daughter though but we're gonna let this roll i got it queued up at a part where he's gonna come in and you know say how he felt <clears throat> about um, you know, not being spoken to, and he's gonna go into how he feel about this Cabo Six and so on. So uh, make sure you subscribe, hit like, hit that notification button, and then boom, you're in there. And I'm gonna let this flow for about maybe uh, three minutes, two minutes, or something. Cause this is a long interview, though. So, like I said, this is a throwback, and let's go back to it. Let's roll. You did your job. You you are absolutely positively um to be celebrated and championed and i think that you are a good man yeah you know i'm just old school man i don't yeah. be on facebook none of that man. it's just that i just didn't have to tell you know who these friends was that's yeah. all man you know only if i could have know if i could have talked to them or said something you know to them y'all you know Y'all better bring them back here. You know? Mm. Has any of these organizations reached out to you to help you or champion your cause or anything like that? Have they all come to your aid or anything? No, nah, I've just been standing on God, grace, and my faith, man, and prayers across this nation, across this world. You know? Um, like I say, I don't deal with a whole lot of people. All this right here is new. This is totally new to me. I mean, I ain't my wildest dream. I never thought I would experience something like this right here, man. You know, not at all. I thought my daughter be burying me, not be burying her, man. You know, yeah. that was my only child. That was my only child for them, you know, did what they did and come back here, man, like, like it was not, man. Like they had no, like she ain't had nobody back here to care greatly, deeply for her. Like they had, she ain't had nobody that loved her conditionally, man. She had so many friends out here that loved her, man. You know, for them to do that and take over there, 
She didn't know, man. They just caught her from the blind side. She thinking she having fun. Didn't even know she was, didn't even know what was about to go down. Man. And you don't even you know, know why. Father, you don't know man. why they I mean, set her up or anything, huh? No, nah, I just seem like a plot, man. I can't think of number envy. She mm. get jealous of her, man. You know. Mm. And she a type young know, lady. She don't think she all that. Not at all. She just have a style by herself, man, and just was trying to make a living for herself and just. And I'm gonna pause it right there for a few minutes. She have a style all by herself, and she just trying to make it. That's what the dad said. You know what I'm saying? She have a style all by herself. Pop say she wasn't trying to be conceited. You know? Hmm. These so-called friends and travel mates maybe didn't think so. Let's roll. Be a success in our own way. Man. I know you're still grieving, and I know you're still going through a lot. I don't. I don't. One thing that my first my first thought as a as a father that has one daughter. I don't have any other kids. I'm a father that only has a 14 year old daughter. My first thought as a as a guy that's been raised in a church, right? And I've literally been raised in a church. Um. For all intents and purposes, I call myself a Christian, right? And I'm not perfect, obviously, but I'm a father. And the first thing that came to my mind is, oh, my God, like, I don't know what I would do to the people um, that committed this egregious crime and then came back and tried to lie on lie about what it is that happened. How do you stay? How do you stay standing on? love and leaning into god when such an egregious thing has happened um to your only daughter i can't question god what had happened only thing i can ask him you know to give me justice you know and give me the strength to get through this like i'm doing what i'm doing you know um that's how i'm standing man is y'all prayers across yeah. this nation, across this world. Y'all took a heed to the story. You know, like I say, they came back here. All of them never did give me no condolences. They never called. They said, Mr. Robinson, we sorry about your daughter laws. They didn't say None nothing of the parents to you, huh? reached out. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. So he mean, you mean to tell me that the guy that went live on Instagram didn't call him? So he didn't go live. I wasn't there. And this is deep. Why won't these friends and why didn't they call and tell him how deep it was? Huh? Why, why, why we got one of them online that went online back then and uh, wasn't there. This is deep. And, 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 you know, when people, man, he was the only one that's coming out trying to tell it, but why won't this guy go and talk and tell it to Mr. Robinson? That's my question. Why won't he go and say, yo, this is what it is. This is deep. Mr. Robinson, y'all might need to do this, get the department, state department. I'm a witness from what I saw. Uh, I seen them move this way. The government over in Mexico did this. Whoop de whoop. Hmm. That's my thing. Listen, the brother said they ain't no, now one of them reached out to him. Well, we see one did a video. Let's roll. None of the parents reached out to me and say, Mr. Robinson, sorry about your daughter. You know, you know. No, no. All right, I'm going to pause it again. There it is. No parents and no one. Sorry about your daughter. How would that make you feel? Then you see a guy online. I wasn't there, you know, smoking a reefer and with a Bible. And, and who was he speaking to? He can't be speaking to Mr. Robinson. I guess he, and I think the guy might have did a good job. So some people say he came out. Some people say he came out. But why? come out and don't go to Mr. Robinson. What is it where these people won't direct that brother over there to that brother, Mr. Robinson? That's, all, that's my question right there. Why is this guy, I wasn't there, leave with them that night. Damn, they fly back home with them. But skip Mr. Robinson and go to the internet. Go ahead and speak, Mr. Robinson. None of them. 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 They just went over there, got back with her daughter, got back with my daughter's suitcase and her phone. Man. Suitcase. They wait, 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 they there. brought a suitcase and her phone back? Yes, man. Yeah. Okay. Suitcase and her phone. They brought a suitcase and her phone. She agreed to fight. That's what they say. Uh, whip the good. 
Khalil Cookman watched you to that. They watched her get whipped. They, and, you know, this is supposed to be a guy of uh, friendship of five years, like Mr. Robinson State. Whipped the good. Mm-hmm. Let's, they, we, hey, that was, hey, in front of people, you finna get whipped good like that. And it's sad that this sister was beaten and whipped in front of these other travel mates, these so-called friends. I mean, just look at the pain that the dad had, and then you trust the, the nerve have a guy out here talking about, I wasn't there, and then it showed a guy there, and okay, if you seen something didn't look right, why won't this guy speak to Mr. Robinson? Let me let this play. Sit right there at her sister's house. Her mom was over there. Sit right there at her sister's house and told her mom and her sister mm -hmm. there was no altercation. They sit right there and ate their food and looked them right in their face and it was an alcohol point. We sitting around drinking and Hmm. Okay. All right. Now the dad says it was at the sister house, and I know I've been saying the mom house. It's okay. It's okay. I don't think it's no conspiracy theory. Oh, the sister. No, we're the tour frontage at the sister house. You came in eight at the sister house. Cabo Cabo three came over there and eight. Khalil Cook, a, a winner, and Desjane, the one that's putting paws on Quilla. Ain't no, ain't no fight, you know, okay, because the family's trying to see was it some type of fight. It wasn't no fight, but they go to the FBI and say it was a fight. Hmm. Fun, um, playing a game, and she got sick and all that, man. You know, they're fucking, you know, I said, nah, I wasn't going for it. So from the I very was beginning, no you wasn't, from the very beginning, you was just like, wait, what the heck is going on? All right, and I'm going to pause it right there. See, us dads, when they would have got there with that right there, you know, the house would have been packed at my house, okay? A lot of guys, we got a lot of guys. See, us men, we get it. And, you know, it's okay if the ladies don't get it. But if you would have had Mr. Bernard Robinson, me, the rest of the cousins there, I don't know, y'all, somebody would have been in jail. This would have blew up. This would have been worse than what it is because it would have been furniture, knees broken and elbows broken and fists broken and stuff like that. Ain't no way in the world you would have came over there and said it was alcohol poison and it just don't make sense. And I'm the dad and I know my daughter and the question that we would have put down, all right, let's let this play. But no, sir, that house would have been towed up. Yeah, I'm not going for it, you know. So you tell me, Khalid Cook, you supposed to be her best friend for right. five years? Right. And you're going to let this happen under right. your watch, mm. knowing our daughter's in your care? All right, I'm going to pause that right there. Khalil Cook. Did Khalil Cook hear that? She's in your care, bro. If that was your friend, you definitely, bro, that was, you ain't, bro, all the way down to this young lady not having no underwear on, no clothes. A friend posed the least step in and say, no, you hot headed, you upset, calm down, put some damn clothes on. Even if you can't get him or her to calm down, at least get him to get some clothes on as a friend that will have some dignity, some decency about it. This guy agreed. No, no clothes. What happened? Was Quilla messing with somebody's boyfriend? Was Quilla the Quilla video something? Was Quilla the whatever it was, Khalil Cook agreed. He didn't care nothing about no damn vacations with Quilla, mama and him. He didn't care about no damn vacation, past vacations with Quilla and his mama. He didn't care. Listen to Mr. Robinson. And then as a real man, as real men, like, no. He wouldn't have got out that house. They wouldn't have got out that house with that. I'm sorry. And if that's it, would have came to, which he knew not to come, you wouldn't have got out the house. But as you say, he wasn't there. He went online and started going to Mr. Robinson say he wasn't there. Go ahead, Mr. Robinson. And you supposed to be her best friend? I mean, what? you didn't went on field trips with her mom and her sister, and my mm. daughter didn't went on field trips. I mean, went on, I mean, say went on the field trip. They went on trips with uh, your mom. Mm. You know, come on, man. Now, nah. what type of man are you? Mm. You know, what type of people are all of? You know, and no, and nobody defended her, and nobody stood up for her, huh? Not one, not one of the six defended or stood up. No. Nah. Not at all, man. Not at all. They came back here, you know, living their life, walking around like it's a. Wait a minute now. We say that none of the six defending them. Now, you got people say that, uh, uh, what is it, man? Zen Wiggins defending her. They say he came out first. Well, maybe that's the new generation say if he come out first, even if you don't call the daddy, oh, he good because he came out. No, because he came out, people are saying. So I'm just trying to analyze it because I have to stay in. Stand with the grown man, the elder, the father. 
Jaquilla Robinson. I can't say justice for Quilla and I'm over here saying his brother came out on the internet and I spoke to the dad. Wait, but let me, let me, let's do this kindergarten. Quilla dad is not going to agree with the Nazir Wiggins guy. Okay. I don't know if people don't get that. I don't know if people don't understand that, that Nazir and the rest of them didn't speak to this brother. Oh yeah, JB, it's going to hit the fan and all of this. Okay. Before it hit the fan, these guys could have went and talked to Mr. Robinson. They could have talked to him. They could have spoke with him. You know, they could have spoke with him. But guess what? We knew it was a lie. We see the flavor of it. And then you got a brother out here, a guy out here, Timon is deep. He knows it's deep, got information, and won't even speak to Mr. Robinson. Go ahead, Mr. Robinson. Speak the truth. Okay, but you know, that when her dad came and stood up, nah, not at all. As God give show me. No deal. Show me what happened to my daughter. Show him what happened. Show me. That's right. That Monday, I had to go and find them, man. I don't know nothing about Mexico, Mexico Cabo. So I got on the phone, got on my phone and Google um, the real call the embassy. Um, they're giving the run around. So I said, I'll Google the funeral home down there. All right. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and close that out right there. Now, see, Nazir could have came out and helped him. Could have told him, yo, this what happened, uh, sir. This what happened to Quilla. This is what happened to Quilla. We see Khalil Cook didn't want no smoke. They didn't care. Oh, she got a dad. These people don't didn't care. Go to the sister house. Oh, it wasn't a fright. Eight at the sister house, from my understanding. Start discussing the frontal at the sister house. This is sad. This is sad. I get it. A little friction, maybe in the family of the Robinsons, dad, mom, or whatever. This is sad. This is sad. This is no need to blame mom and dad. This is sad, but listen to the dad. Mad love to the mom, the sister, the whole family over there, the, the women over there on Quilla's side, and mad love to Mr. Bernard Robinson. These people didn't care. They don't care. Okay, Lion Dan, they don't care. Now we got a guy that come out and say, this is deep, oh, oh, and this and this and this and that. It can't be that deep. This guy didn't speak to Mr. Bernard Robinson. Let me know what you think in the comment section line, Dan, how you feel. Because we're dealing with our brother, uh, Mr. Bernard Robinson. This is a throwback video, okay, from the brother uh, Anton L. Davis. And uh, mad credit to uh, Anton Davis. I think he did a great job letting that brother speak and asking the right question. So let me know in the comment section what you think out here in America. Cabo 6 need them handcuffs. And you got people online. I wasn't there. And damn, you wasn't there talking to Mr. Robinson either. I'm out. Oh, 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 oh,